Hi guys, and in this video we're gonna talk about configuring Duotone filters for your custom block theme. And in case, in case you're wondering what custom block theme I'm using in this video, and it is just our custom theme we created a couple videos before. I will link down to it in the description below. And all right, what actually Duotones are? And if you just go here, for example, to one post and we try to add an image here. So we're gonna add an image block like this. And in this block, you can see this setting. And if you click uh, right here, we can see this duotone configuration for images. And if you click any of that, we can see that it is just basically an image filter. And in our custom theme, we can decide which duotones are gonna be available here. Right now we just have some default duotone presets and we can remove that. We can set our custom duotones available for use to use. <laughs> all right, let's get started. First of all, I would like to show you how you can remove this default duotone palette at all. And in order to do so, we just go to our theme JSON file right here. And we need these color settings. So we already have some configuration here we made in the previous videos. And uh, let me just go ahead and add like uh, default tone to false. Uh, save here and I'm also All right, let me just refresh this page. Not a big deal And as you can see now we do not have this default the tone palette available But we still can set our custom do tone like this so we can set shadows to black and um, highlights, uh, for example, to, to gray or to white, something like this. All right, let's uh, save this post with the image. And uh, right now I'm about to remove the duotones completely. So, I mean the duotone settings. So I'm gonna set custom duotone to false as well. And if you go here, and refresh this page, you can see that our image do not have Duotone settings anymore. All right, and uh, what I'm gonna do next. And uh, here I'm about to provide my own custom Duotone palette. Something like we did for gradients before, or some, something like we did for color palettes here. And uh, I'm about to provide my Duotone palette. And in order to do so, I'm just uh, gonna type something like Duotone and it's gonna be an array. And here we can just provide some Duotones. So it's gonna be something like uh, black and white, why not? <clears throat> here we, we're gonna need to provide colors and it's gonna be an array of two colors. So like a white, I mean highlights color and uh, shadows color. Let's say it's gonna be like just black and white like this. And uh, my awesome duotone here. Okay, we can just um, leave this one black and white duotone for now. And let's see how it works in our theme. So I'm gonna refresh this page, select an image. And here we have like two options and by the way i'm i'm used like not a black and white but an inversion so let's uh, start with shadows and then highlights and refresh this page all right and now we have uh, our black and white duotone for the image and that's the only settings so no way for users to provide their own custom duotones and um, 
yes and no default default wordpress palette either okay okay and now let me show you um, how you can configure this duotone settings block specifically what do i mean by that uh, by default this duotone setting is uh, can be applied uh, for multiple blocks for image block as you can see for the co cover block here it is and then to site logo block avatar block and featured image block these five blocks and let's say we do not want users to use duotones on cover block for example so i'm just gonna insert this uh, block here and uh, yes and as you can see in this color block we have the dot on setting as well and let's just remove that so i'm just gonna go here and here we have some block specific settings and uh, right now i'm just need to provide my block name it's gonna be co core cover and uh, then we're gonna need to provide color settings and then default dot tones false custom dot tone false and also we need to provide an empty array for our custom dot tone palette because anyways it's gonna be used here and by the way we do not need to provide that because these two options are already set to false by default here so no need for that here and uh, let's yes let's just save and uh, check it out so i'm gonna go back here refresh this page as you can see we still have the same dot on settings for our image block but if you go to the cover block we do not see dot on settings anymore so that's how you can configure your dot on settings block specifically and um, i guess that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys and um, thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye